seven years ago, NASA sent a capsule into space to collect samples from one of the oldest rocks floating in our solar system. It was a part of the first U.S. mission to retrieve samples from an asteroid. Well, now after just traveling nearly four billion miles, four billion, by the way, that <laughs> capsule is just days away from landing back at home with some very precious cargo on board. So here to talk about this incredible accomplishment is NASA planetary scientist Gianna Arney. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. We're really excited to talk about this because I feel like I'm talking about something out of a movie. Yeah. Let's talk about the <laughs> spacecraft and how it traveled to an asteroid named Bennu. Now, before you talk about the mission, too, tell us a little bit about what an asteroid is and why we want to study them. Yeah, well, asteroids are definitely out of this world. They are small primordial, well, relatively small compared to planets, primordial building blocks from the early history of our solar system. This is the stuff that planets like Earth were formed from. So we want to study them to better understand how our planets formed very, very early on, billions of years ago. That's amazing. Now let's talk about our OSIRIS-REx mission. Can you tell us about its epic journey to Bennu and back? Yeah, it's definitely been an epic journey. The OSIRIS-REx mission launched in September of 2016. It took two years to reach the asteroid Bennu, and then it spent an additional approximately two years orbiting and surveying the asteroid to better understand its properties, and also to find the safest possible sample collection site, because of course we didn't want to damage the spacecraft while collecting the sample. The sample was collected in October of 2020, and now finally, this Sunday, it will be making its final epic journey home home to our planet's surface. I'm sure you're so excited for that. So OSIRIS-REx, it didn't just grab samples, it also studied this asteroid, as you mentioned, in unprecedented detail. Did anything surprise you about this asteroid? Yeah, I mean, these asteroids are all amazing and all unique. And what was really surprising about this asteroid Bennu was that scientists expected its surface to be pretty smooth, but in fact, they discovered that its surface was incredibly rugged with boulders the size of houses. Oh, wow. The surface of OSIRIS-REx is also, yeah, and the surface is also pretty amazing. It's really loosely held together. If you were to stand on the surface of this asteroid, it would actually sink down, kind of like, you know, standing in a children's ball pit. So, hmm. you know, that that's pretty amazing to think about. <laughs> I feel smarter after talking to you right now. I feel like I'm learning so much. Okay, so what's next? What are some of the other things you guys work on? Yeah, well, we like to call this Asteroid Autumn because we have a whole bunch of missions that are either, you know, bringing samples home from asteroids in the case of OSIRIS-REx, um, but also we have the, uh, the mission Lucy. Um, Lucy is journeying to the Trojan asteroids, which are out near Jupiter, um, but first it's going to be visiting an asteroid called Dinkanesh. We also have a mission blasting off called Psyche, which is going to be visiting a metal-rich asteroid. So, you know, this is certainly an exciting wow. time to be an asteroid fan. <laughs> How yeah. do you keep track of all of those. You just listed that off so simply. That's amazing <laughs> though. So what are you most looking forward to when it comes to all these different missions? Well, you know, I'm really hoping to learn more about the origins of our solar system. These asteroids are, you know, we can think of them as time capsules from mm -hmm. a very early time. And so we want to learn about how our solar system formed. You know, the origins of our solar system is locked into these asteroids. Jada Arney, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck to you on Sunday. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much.